Right, what's up, people? Welcome to episode six of Bad Rants. I'm trying to make sure I don't move the camera too much because I filmed this one one time before and I just kept doing this, so I have to be careful with the... And maybe I'm just going to hold it with two hands. Yeah, that could work, right. So, eh, we're on episode six. This is fucking awesome, man. I'm so, so proud of myself. Honestly, like, I did not believe I could do it, man. Like, here we go. I mean, I wish I wish I've done my, uh, you know, my uh, my workout routine as well as I've done my vlog routine. But I, you know, can't win them all. Can't win them all. <laughs> right. I'm trying to be sure I don't move this fucking camera too much. Hold up. Hold up now. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Uh, here we go. Right. Um, We're in lockdown now. We're officially in lockdown. Um, This is it, man. This is the big one. Basically, we're not allowed to leave our flats uh, just for the basic necessities, food, uh, work and all that. Like food, work, you can go jogging and da, 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 something else I can't recall. Yeah, but basically that's it. And I was a little bit disappointed, man. I'm going to be honest because apparently uh, booty calls are not essential. And I don't know about you folks, but... They seem pretty fucking essential to me, man. <laughs> I mean, I am I am not enjoying this. I'm going to be completely honest. I am not enjoying this. I was thinking about this today and I was like, I mean, see the quarantine? There's a lot of us single in the quarantine. And the quarantine is something imposed on us by like outside of our will, outside of our control. So, does that mean we're all incels now? I mean, if you think about it. <laughs> is that what we are? We've become a society of incels? For a while, hopefully. Uh, you know, food for thought. Think about it. You know, these are the big thoughts that I'm having in this lockdown period, okay? So, bear with me. Um, but, yeah, uh, the truth is, man. Face touching. The truth is, I think there's going to be a lot of babies. So I, I see three possible outcomes, right? There's going to be a lot of babies during quarantine. There's going to be a lot of babies after the quarantine. Or some of us are going to have to make some very difficult conversations with ourselves, very uncomfortable conversations. And, you know, really, really take a look at our sexuality. You know, really consider our identity, man, because... We ain't getting laid for a while, man. So, uh, yeah. On the other hand, on the on the flip side, if you're into making a bit of money, please do invest in condoms and uh, the website called OnlyFans because uh, those two industries are going hard. Pun intended. <laughs> man, I am not above making a dick joke. Honestly, I am not above a dick joke at all. Right. Where are we? Three minutes and a half. Hmm. Right, I'm going to do this real quick. So basically today, in this past few days, I have met a new group of people that I believe are more annoying than the toilet roll people. Honestly, I was surprised as you are. But basically, I'm talking about religious nuts. And before I go into this, I want to make sure that everybody understands my position. Most people are religious. And most religious people are lovely people. Honestly, like, I have no complaints. You know, they're moral, they try to live their life, and they also try to have their religious life. So I see you and I do appreciate you. However, these cunts, these fucking cunts, man. So there's this one dude I bumped into online, and he was trying to heal Corona through the television. I mean, what the fuck is up with that? Doesn't this guy have a hobby? Like, I mean, also, you know, I want to address the, the victims in this scenario, and I do not want to make fun of them. But come on, when was the last time Jesus was on pay-per-view? Huh? Come on, people. And also, like, if you are going to give your money to, to anyone out there at this time, give it to the poor man. Like that's what would G that's what would Jesus want? 
Like, I'm not Christian, but I know the terms and conditions. Like, please, 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 please do not give your money to these $6,000 suit-wearing Monopoly man-looking motherfuckers. Please. And the other dude that really got on my nerves was this um, American pastor, right? And he came out with this theory, like publicly, it wasn't like by accident, oops, I did it again, it slipped out, there it goes. He literally came out publicly and said, the coronavirus is a satanic plot to kill the elderly and introduce socialism in the US. I mean, what? Like, the, this is the intellectual equi equivalent of a Sharknado movie. And, you know, I don't want to go into, like, theology or anything, because, again, I'm not religious. On a, you know, on my best days, I'm agnostic, and on my worst days, I'm atheist. So, if you, if you respect my boundaries, I don't know if there is a God. But, if you keep pushing it, I'm pretty sure yours doesn't exist. That's my position. That said, if the devil did exist, he or she would probably probably be out there saying, guys, I would love to take the credit. Genuinely, I would. But you guys ate the bad soup. You guys went into town where you weren't supposed to. And you guys kept saying, oh, it's just like the flu. So, we got to take some responsibility for this, man. And we need to stay away from these nutters. So, that is my rant for today. I'm on seven minutes. I'm going to wrap this up. Hey, Y'all have a good night. Hey, and I hope to see you tomorrow. And have fun. Stay safe. Stay healthy.